What's going on? Good morning, Aneta. Beautiful day here, sunshine day in the sunshine state of Florida. Behind me, you can see all them John boats. This morning, my man Cromwell, soldier man John, maybe son of that, we're gonna load up these bad boys into a U haul truck and we're driving down to Miami. All right. I am shipping these boats back to Guyana. So, some of you would have asked me to show how you ship barrels and how you ship cargo from Florida to Guyana. La Parkin, I ship it La Parkin. So, you can ship it to CNV shipping, you can ship it John Finance, different um, freight forwarders, right? I've been shipping with La Parkin for a long time, so I'm using La Parkin. You have two types of container, 20 feet and a 40 feet. I think they call it 20 foot and 40 foot. Not sure. However, you have three time frame. You have a seven day shipping. You have a 10 to 14 days and you have a 21 days to 30 days. So of course I'm gonna go with the 21 to 30, which is cheaper. I don't need the boat right away. I'm here for another couple of weeks. So I'm gonna take that one. A 20 foot container is about somewhere around 4,000. They can run you like about 3,800 for the three weeks to a month. Uh, about 4,200 for 10 to 14 days and about 4,500 for seven days. All right. You can ship from Orlando. You can pack there or you can pack in Miami. It's best to pack in Miami. It's faster and it's cheaper. Of course, if you ship in Orlando, you pack in Orlando, you're going to have to pay freight forward to, to move your cargo from Orlando to Miami all right how do you get your cargo to Orlando or Miami you can do two things you can order the container to come by your house but given the fact now containers are hard to get truck drivers are hard to find it's best for you to take it to Orlando or Miami so we rent a U-Haul truck one of the big U-Haul truck for about $300 for a 26 foot box truck like an enclosed um, truck that's gonna take everything to miami we might spend about 200 dollars in gas from ocala to miami another hundred dollars in toll so a total of 600 dollars to and you do a u-haul one way so you rent here in ocala and you drop off in miami you don't have to bring it back to ocala because there's more gas and toll so this is some of the things you can do or if you have um your own truck or depends on what cargo you are taking because of these boats we got to take a box truck we stock it up like that but this i don't think it's wise to take it like that right to drive all the way to miami because you get a flat tire you're in trouble so we're gonna pack all these boats into the box truck and we're gonna take them to miami all right so we heading down to u-haul now to get the truck then we're gonna stop at sam's club you know pick up a few more things and sam's club is like a wholesale um depot here in um florida where you can get stuff for you know cheaper price wow look how beautiful these flowers are man is it masoom season wow beautiful, beautiful. when you see these flowers and make you want to get married by take big pictures <laughs> Photographs. Yeah. Like the Indian movie, yeah, yeah. watch. Yeah, when they have the, the season in the Indian movies, right? They have fields and fields of flowers, right? Yeah. Beautiful, man. Alright, so this is a beautiful Ocala. Now, when I reach at Mahaikoni in Guyana, I usually say this place looks like Florida. But this is what I'm talking about. You see how the trees are over the road here in Florida? In the canopy you call it? Yeah. Alright, and in, in East Coast, in Mahikoni, we have a park like this just before Trail Torn there, where the trees are over the road. It's beautiful here, man. Alright, so we have arrived at our destination. This is the u haul office here on 441 and 102nd. So we're gonna get one of those big trucks standing back here. Alright. I'm going to check in with the office here. Yeah, no. the office here. Yeah. All right, so this is our truck right here. You got a little 
rules there. So when you're renting your hall, you make sure you check for all the scratches and scrapes and thing you know. All right. Yeah. Because you don't want to be the one to be paying for damages on a truck. Things you haven't done. Good. You know, I hope and I wish Guyana becomes like this, you know, have a service like this where you can rent a truck, you know, for a day. You drive it yourself if you want to move, you want to transport things. I do hope um, we can have this service in the near future. All right, so we're getting with Truckee. We're gonna load up them boats and off to Miami, bye. To rent one of these trucks at 26 feet, it cost me $320, which include $50 insurance. So, you know, it's, it's affordable just in case you want to rent one you know the cost the smaller ones are cheaper all right not sure how many boats are gonna make it to Guyana on this trip we have a lot but I don't think all of them are gonna make it in the container we're gonna have to leave back a few of these boats all right but we start loading here right now here is Miss Lynch bouncing around all right the girl vlogging you know hey looks like a lot of fun right it is it is a lot of fun hi what's up what's going on are we loading up the boat for guyana you know you want to take a ride yeah in the atlantic i make sure you get no food inside for me i got your paddle i got a small engine <laughs> all right so look at all the hard working boys there got the man sing cromwell steve all right, the man Steve Jobs, you know. <laughs> and look how we got this container, by. Hey, we got more things to fit here. You want me to put in this one? I'm truck, so. <laughs> put in this Mario truck. <laughs> all right, so we don't pack up here. Eh? We are heading down to Miami now, boy. All right, all right. And I'm on the Florida Turnpike, passing through Orlando, Orlando, Florida. Boy. Look how beautiful this piece of road is. A lot of overpass, right? Don't you worry. We in Guyana gonna become like this soon, you know. With the amount of cars that we have in the country. Yeah, that buys behind with the U-Haul. We making our way to Miami. We're gonna spend the night over. And tomorrow morning, which is Saturday, Saturday morning, the parking is gonna start back in the container at 8 a.m. Now the reason why we're leaving now is a five hour journey from Ocala to Miami. We don't want to leave at four o'clock in the morning to head to Miami. That's why we leave now. We get to Miami by 11 o'clock, 11 p.m. Then we sleep in Miami and then tomorrow morning we got up fresh as ever. Rather than have to wake up at 3 o'clock to start driving at 4. Alright, so we headed down there. I gotta meet up with two of my subscribers in uh, Fort Lauderdale. Hey, let me continue the journey. We're continuing the journey to Miami. Boy, look at these flowers, man. Wow, just wow. We're heading down all the way to Pompano. Rest up, where we can get gas and food, then we're gonna continue on to Miami. Alright, so I am in Fort Lauderdale. Look at the mighty Hard Rock Casino there. Hotel. Beautiful as can be. I have to make a stop in Pines Boulevard by Tropics. I have to pick up dinner, you know. Fry rice and fry bag of berry. All right. Guess where I am? Tropics. And this is where it all happens here. And look at the 
the, the chef's there, man. He's, you know, this is the difference between other restaurants and tropics. The owners are the chefs, and they cook with love. You put love into your cooking. And right now, this is what's going on here right now. Look, the roast lamb. You got the roast lamb there. You got there's a chow win, low win. You got fried rice over that side. Hey, life couldn't get any better than this. And I am here picking up dinner. All right, for six of us. Hey, it was a pleasure meeting you guys, man. All right. All right. Yeah, keep up the good work. All right. Thank you. No problem, boy. Look, look at my order to go in. You know. Chicken fried rice. All right, and look, oh, this is my R.O.P. Look at this lamb chop, man. Chicken fried rice, fried bag of berry. Not sure how the bag of berry. Look at that. Couldn't get fresher than that. All right. So, once you're in Florida, check out Tropics Restaurant and Lounge, all right? And this is Pine, Pine Boulevard. Pine Boulevard, all right. Couldn't get better than this. And look at my boy Adil here, man. You saw your family just watch this channel. What a name? Ah, uh, search ball. Search ball? All right, big up to them, right? I've been up to you, Adil, all right? Okay. Good, man. All right, so that's surely we're going on in the bar here, boy. Look, I got some fans here, man. What's going on, boys? What's up? Life can get better than this here, boy. All right. You want to try the gale back, Curry? Dude, I'm down for the go back. <laughs> let's go, man. You gotta come, you gotta come, Guyana, man. All right? Yeah, down. Let's go. <laughs> Appreciate, man. What's the name, man? Bob. Bob. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, man. Thank you. Yeah, brother. Same here. Same here. Nice. Yes, yes, yes. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Yes, yes, yes. Let's go. Big up, big up to all the all the hard work and good work you're doing for the community. Yeah, man. My man told me here you came in from Canada today. Yes, yes. yes, yes. Wow. Big up to here it is for all the hard work and. here in Miami all right and look at the crew here the macro well uh, we got Jad, we got Steve we got a boat we truck and look the you have with all the other boats in there all right 
So we're gonna be limbing here. It's 12 o'clock midnight. We're gonna hang out here and 8 o'clock. We gotta head across to La Park and right across there. Alright? So it's six of us. So we gotta take three rooms in Miami. One room is about three hundred dollars. That's nine hundred dollars. Nah. We can sleep in the van. We can sleep in the boat. Right in this boat we're gonna be sleeping tonight. <laughs> hey, the goodness continue. Good morning. And then a beautiful day here. Miami. We up and about. And look at these guys who woke us up early this morning. We have a head here with all her chicks. Now the rooster, he get away. He crowed all morning, waking us up. If this rooster living in Guyana and this head is living in Guyana, somebody done masala here anyway. <laughs> walk, walk, walk. That is why we carry your head. Go. Two, four, six chicks. Oh, and look at the entourage, boy. So we're, so here we are. Walmart. All right. So this is the cheapest hotel it have. We waiting for six o'clock for them to open. Now it's five forty-five. We gotta get bathroom break. And then we head down to La Park, and, which is like two blocks away that way. All right, I haven't seen the sun rises yet. But we're waiting for it. Hey, we loading, you know, with these boys here. We already got a few boats in. I'm trying to get this one going in there right now. Yeah, yeah. Looks like you're it. Good. So. We get in there, we get in there. You see all these boxes. I want to say thanks to the folks that donated to the barrel with clothing, all these boxes and used clothing and stuff. I want to say thank you to you guys, alright? For your donation. All this wheelchair and thing was donated to Strativ and Masjid by my boy Rocky, being Rocky. And family, you love me, wife Sherry's and that all. Alright? So we gotta get busy again, we gotta go work. <laughs> alright, so you. This is it, we pack in here at La Park and this is La Park and Warehouse. Really, really big warehouse, man. These guys are one of the biggest here in Miami, man. You know, freight forward to Guyana. Alright, and different parts of the Caribbean trail. That Bobby doesn't look Good. Alright, so we don't have a knife. So this man got a Magai Pawachi. This man watches a lighter, cigarette lighter. Uh -huh. Look at that. <laughs> nice, nice. Man. You use Magai <laughs> James Bond. James Bond, James Bond. Alright. Look, look at the holy country and look in there, man. We're shaping up, we're shaping up. Alright, so one more magic we're gonna do. We're gonna strap this in now at the top of the container. So, you know, showing you guys how to pack a container, you know. You know some of you, and the crew, yeah, 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 you gotta show the crew that did all the work. So, we empty a 26 footer U haul into a 20 foot container, boy. We go like that. Alright, so this is a magic gonna happen here now. We're gonna strap this onto the roof in there. Then we're gonna put in the engine and we're good to go. So look at what by the container full up plus we get space. You get extra space. You go backtrack guy, you know what? You know back in the days people used to come backtrack to America? Yeah, go with the boat. You go with the boat, so like you going backtrack to Guyana. <laughs> Hey, we got aisle now, you know, yeah, I got a get fixed, we'll come there, right? <laughs> alright, alright. Hey, so the goodness continue here, by we. We didn't realize we could have we could have done this, boy. We empty a 26 footer into a 20 foot. Couldn't get any better than this. And there goes the train in Miami. Hello! But that's a small one. <laughs> so who said Florida don't have trains? They do have. Alright. A train passing by. No wonder why when we were sleeping last night in the five star hotel at Walmart parking lot, we heard the train passing all night. But we didn't know it passing right behind us. We're making our way back to Ocala. We're passing through Orlando area. 
we jam in some Tony Cuts and we, you know, celebrated the day. I hope you guys learned something today from us. Some of you would have asked me to make a video showing you how to ship cargo from Florida to Guyana. I did. Please note, um, La Park can also have a a branch in Orlando. I think it's McLeod Road, so or somewhere in that neighborhood where you can drop off your barrels and your other cargo. But if you want to do a container, you have a lot of stuff. It's cheaper the way I just showed you. You rent a U-Haul because if you have to get a container drive from Miami to Orlando or to Ocala where I live, it's gonna cost about $1,500 to just bring the container. And every additional hour is 150 US while the container sit there and wait. The first two hours for free. After the two hours, you're gonna pay 150 US per hour, all right? Now we rented the truck for $300, including insurance, $200 gas, that's $500, about $100 in total, $600. So we save at least about $1,000, all right? We stayed at a five-star hotel last night, that's just Walmart parking lot, because we got there like one o'clock this morning, we got in the parking lot, and La Park can open 7 a.m. So we just had like about six hours. So we decided, you know what? We got to bunk or crash in the truck and the car and the minivan for the couple of hours. All right. We offload all the stuff in the park and there and it's cheaper to ship from Miami to Guyana is cheaper rather than shipping from Orlando because you still have to pay trucking from Orlando to Miami. So I hope you guys learned something from the video and um, you know, you can put it into practice. And same thing goes to Barbados, Trinidad, wherever you want to ship to, all right? Hope you enjoy the tour with us. Hope you enjoy the evening and the day with us. And I want to say shout out to the folks there at Tropics Bar and to all my fans down there, man, I love all you. Thank you for watching and keep watching the show, all right? So hope you're staying safe and positive. Take care of you and those around you. God bless you. Peace out. And I will see you on the next adventure.